sitting here on the floor next to this big old box. You know what that means? It's another Thread Up Rescue box. This box is completely destroyed. It was destroyed when I got it, and then me bringing it up the stairs, well, you can see here it is just bursting at the seams. So I think instead of opening from the top, I'm just gonna take the tape off here and rip her open. Took a little more effort than I thought it was going to originally, but here we go. I like these Startup Rescue boxes and I've heard a couple of you do as well in terms of the unboxings. I did a poll on my last video if you like to see kind of what I find in these boxes after I've listed them and researched them or if you like the unboxing. The majority, like way majority said you like the unboxings. So here we go. This first piece has the tag on it. It is BCBG. It was $78 originally. Work well, I was gonna say work, but it seems cropped. I would say more of like a dinner with girlfriends kind of top. I'm going to keep that in my list pile for now. This one is Old Navy, size medium. This one, cute little summer outfit. This one is going to go into my potentially buy, sell, trade, probably not, probably just donation pile. I'm really looking for things that I can sell for at least the $20 mark, meaning after platform fees. So anything that doesn't hit that mark, I am either just gonna take to Plato's Closet another local buy sell trade or I'm just going to donate this is Star Wars which is you know not something that I am familiar with however I do know that stuff like this could make some money so it looks like it's maybe a costume it's got like little openings there oh see that design I am going to put this one in my research pile just because it's something that I'm not familiar with maybe it is worth a lot maybe it is not this is acceleration which is a target brand I'm gonna untangle it here a swimsuit very Barbie core I do have a Barbie section in my Plato's closet, or at least there was the last time that I was there. So I'm gonna try to take this quickly there before Barbie stuff goes out of style. I said this in my last video too, I'm afraid that eventually we're gonna have too much Barbie core stuff and I'm trying to get rid of it before we get to that point because there is just pink literally everywhere. Eventually we're all gonna be pinked out. This is Intimately Free by Free People. We have a bodysuit. That's kind of cute. I'm going to put that into my research pile. Another piece with tags on it. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's Express with the tag. It was $118 originally. So it is, what is this? Ooh, this I might be keeping for myself, actually. I might try to wash this up really quick and wear it out tonight to a dinner. One thing I like about these boxes is I find stuff for myself, and then I get to list them as well. So I'm always getting a new wardrobe, but then I get to continuously rotate through my wardrobe as well so I know a lot of people watching this video are probably resellers but I know there's also some people that watch these videos just to see what they would potentially get for themselves this is another piece with the tag it is from Banana Republic it was originally $45 they are green shorts so Banana Republic isn't like the best brand for reselling but because it does have the tags on it, I'm going to put that into my potentially research pile. This one is Zara. Some oversized shorts. Zara can either be really, really good or not so good at all. So 
that is also going into my research pile. More shorts. These are just Wild and Fable, which I believe is Target. I don't think those will do so good, so I'm going to try to see what Buy, Sell, Trade will give me for those. This is Old Navy. Cute little summer dress that will not sell for very much on Poshmark, eBay, Macari. So, Buy, Sell, Trade, hopefully these. Does anybody know that symbol? There's no tag on them at all. But let me show you. They are leggings, but on the inside, it's super, super soft. Like these would be really, really good for up north. I am in Florida, so I don't think they would do so good for me here. But I did used to live in Chicago, and I would definitely think to wear these ones out and about in the snow. But I don't, and I'm putting these in my research pile just because I don't know that brand, but I have a feeling they're not gonna sell for very much if I do end up listing them. This is the Weekend Chino Talbots. They're on the inside there. I love that it's just on the inside and there's no tag. These are just green, I guess, chinos. Talbots, sometimes good, sometimes not. So that one's going to the research pile. This is kind of cool. Seems like a swim cover up from J. Crew. Well, maybe it's not a swim cover up. It's more of a maxi dress. I think I'm going to keep that one to list it for now. I always do go through these clothes again like as I'm listing because I'm not checking for flaws and everything right now unless they're like overly obvious but a lot of times when I go through these boxes again I do find flaws so that could be the case with that dress this one though is locked with the tag it was originally $60 the blouse loft. I think because I got a huge donation of loft, so I have a lot of loft in my closet. It does pretty well for me, but I think, like I said, because I have a lot and people know my closet for that, so they keep coming back. This is Shein. My Play-Doh's closet does take Shein, so I'm going to hope that they will take that one. This is Free People does have that gold tag on it. This box so far is definitely better than my last one. If you watched my last video, I basically got a whole bunch of Shein. There was like nothing that was good. So with these boxes, this is why I like to get more than one box. This is Forever 21, a black maxi dress. I'll try to show it off a little more. like it. I doubt that it is going to go for very much. So I am putting that one in my buy sell trade pile for now. Another black piece. This is time and true. Nothing exciting. Hoping that I can put this one also at a buy sell trade. This has no brand. It has the size on it, but no brand. Um, Halston. H by Halston. I definitely did not expect to see this brand in a Threat of Rescue box. Uh, my last box had me downing myself, but... Halston dress. Now, I'm definitely going to have to research this. You know, some dresses are worth like nothing. Some dresses are worth quite a bit. But yeah, I did not expect to see this brand in a Thread of Rescue box. Okay, so I just looked it up really quick. It wasn't as exciting as I thought it was. But I do think that I can get probably around the $30 mark for it at least. So again, considering my last box was a complete dud, 
I think I'm still excited about that piece. This one, I don't know this brand. Yes, I do. It is Forever 21, but the tag is different. I'm going to show you this tag. Have you ever seen this tag? Forever 21 exclusive it is? I don't know. It's different. I don't know if it's old. Maybe it's just really, really old or something. I have no idea. I've never seen that tag before. Um, but it's just a peplum blouse. I'm putting that in my research pile just because of the tag, but it is Forever 21, so I have a feeling I'm not going to list it. I'm just curious and I want to remind myself to look up that tag. This is H&M. This one is probably going to go to one of my coworkers. I told her that I would look up for some clothes for her and it happens to be in her size. This is a romper, if I can figure out how to get to the top. It is Adam Lippies. Tag looks nice, but I've never heard of this brand. This is going into my research pile. If you know this brand, let me know because sometimes the tags look super, super nice and they end up being nothing. But I am wanting to learn a little bit more about that brand. There's a lot of new with tag stuff in this. This is Island Escape with the tag on it. It is a swim top. So with the tag, this is $35 originally, so not super exciting, but stuff with the tag, I always at least give it a chance to look up. I've never heard of that brand, um, but people like stuff new with tag. This is Old Navy, just a summery kind of shirt that is going into my pile to take to school. This is cloth and stone. By the way, I just want to take a moment to thank you for being here with me. I know that there are so many Thread Up Rescue Box videos out there, and I just so appreciate you spending this time with me. This piece here is 100% tensile. It is Duck's clothing with the tag. I'll show you that side there. I've never heard of it before. Um, let's see, is there a price? Okay, it was $20 originally, so I was about to get excited just because I didn't know the brand, and then I saw that price there, but I still, I don't know. I'm gonna probably take that one to buy, sell, trade. To Plato's closet. So we got two pieces here. This first one is nice and floral. It is a J. Crew. It is a cropped summer tank top. I'm gonna look that one up. More tags. So many new tag items here. This is Lee. There's no price on it necessarily. They are like pedal pushers is that still a term where they come like just to your knees I wonder how old these are or are these back in style I don't know I'm gonna research them but I have a feeling I'm not gonna end up listing them you never know though another swim top this one is uh, I don't know how to pronounce this Zaful, I think Tag might be hard to show because it is clear, but I'm going to give it a shot. If I put my thumb behind that, see if that works out. But it is an Amazon brand. If when I'm editing this, I realize you can't see that, and I don't think you can. Um, I will throw like some little clip of what the tag looks like. But this is a swim top. It is Amazon. I know that because I have a couple of pieces from Amazon. It might not be like only an Amazon brand, but I've definitely gotten that brand from Amazon. And it was, I want to say, like $70 or $80, so I'm putting that in my potentially list pile. This, what is going on here? This is a skirt with no brand. It's very, 
very interesting skirt. Okay, I can't really, what is going on with these side things? They're like vented. This little tag on the back says ZPL. Let's look at this materials. I don't know. That one's one to look up, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's like some kind of streetwear brand because there's like pockets. I don't know. It's a brand that I am definitely looking up. If you know anything about Z, what did I say? ZPL? I think that's what I said. Not Z. V. PL. Let me know. Another swim piece by that same brand. This one maybe I'll try to show against the green. It's probably a little bit better view there. Another swim piece. So that one I'm going to try to list up. Or at least I'm going to research it, do some Google Lens action. If nothing comes up, I will take that to buy, sell, trade, and I guess they'll probably take it. This has no tag, but it's got cute little puff sleeves there. I'll end up looking it up and there's, it's nothing. I might keep it for myself. See, no tag. Hmm. Looks like it could be like Amazon or something. The tag just Reminds me of an Amazon tag. So I'll do a Google Lens, look it up. If not, I might keep it. I don't know. I like the puff sleeves. I don't know if I like the stripes. So I don't know. I'll look it up, see what I come up with. Maybe I'll pass it on to somebody else. More tags. This is Aeropostal, and originally at $45. Some longer shorts. Putting that in my potentially list just because it has the tags along with this one. Lots of tags. Forever 21. Not the best brand, Forever 21, but because it has the tags, I am going to see about listing it, although that's probably going to go in buy, sell, trade eventually. This is another swim top. This is H&M, so this is probably going to go to buy sell trade right away. I don't know if it's swim or supposed to be like a um I don't know like a bralette but we'll see what buy sell trade has to say about that one. Dress it seems like this is Abercrombie and Fitch. Can I just pause for a second and talk about how grateful I am for thread up? Like I've been thinking lately it's so weird if it wasn't for ThreadUp, I wouldn't be making this video and you wouldn't be watching this video. We wouldn't be connected. So all thanks to ThreadUp. I, I always have a gratitude board at school. I put like what I'm grateful for for the day and I put like random things like that. And it just got me thinking like I never acknowledge stuff like that in these videos. It just... It's cool how life comes together. Now there a shirt. There's a lot of tops. I feel like there always are in Thread Up Rescue Box. This is, this is San Joy. I've never heard of this brand, so I'm putting this in my research pile here, but it doesn't seem like it's like the most exciting brand. But of course, you never know if you don't look it up. Why am I so blurry? Hopefully that is a little bit better for you. I changed the settings on the camera up here. A dress by J. Crew. Nice work dress that I'm going to see about listing on my own. Perhaps send that one to flip. Another dress. This is Wisp. I don't know about that brand. I don't think it's anything exciting though, but I am putting it in my pile to look up. All of these clothes are smell fine. Sometimes these sort of rescue boxes are like, uh, they can get really dusty. None of these clothes smell like they are old, like they haven't been sitting in a thrift store or some warehouse for a while. This is Candies, which is a junior's brand. 
So this one's going to go to Plato's Closet because a lot of teens and juniors shop there, so juniors brands tend to do well. This is Country Cousin. It's got the tag. It's $30 originally. Um, I'm going to say this one is probably going to go to Buy Sell Trade. This here, I can't figure it out. Hot and delicious. And seems like something that maybe Plato's Closet perhaps we'll put in the Plato's Closet pile. This looks like it might be nice. Is it a dress? Is it a skirt? What is happening? This is a dress, I think. Yeah, it's a dress. Ombre. There's no brand. Let's see if there's a materials tag. Sometimes the brand is on the materials tag. Yeah, I'm going to say it's probably not the best. It's not in English, which doesn't always mean that it's bad, but typically, you know, it means it's Amazon or something, something like that. So we'll see about buy, sell, trade in that one. Another dress. This is Airy. This I think I am going to take to my coworker. It's a dress. This is Anthropology. Not bad to be getting Anthropology in a thread up rescue box. Sometimes Anthropology does really well, sometimes it doesn't do so well. So I'm of course going to be looking that up, see if I can get a Google lens. This is Gap Slim Cut Cut Up Shorts. Those are going to buy sell trade. This is Athleta. Tanks don't do the best, but it is Athleta, so I'm going to see about listing that one. You never know. It probably won't go for the $20 and up, but it might go quick, so I might list that anyways. This is Oisho. Oh, oh, sh oh. I don't know. <laughs> Showing you the tag. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Oisho is how I would say. Not sure about this brand, so I'm going to look it up. This is a very heavy, like, super comfortable sweater so we'll see about that brand a workout tank that I can't figure out it's Athleta as well maybe I'll put those two tanks in one listing as a bundle this is loft this one's probably going to my co-worker her work she is lucking out with these boxes here this has the tag and it is Old Navy happens to be the same size as my uh, co-worker yet again so I'm gonna see if she wants that otherwise if I'm going to put it at buy side trade this has the tag um, Abercrombie is there a price Okay, originally $120. Nice orange satin dress. Alright, I think I'm going to list that one. I'm pretty impressed with this box so far. This is Eliza J, which you think sometimes Eliza J does well. This tag I found does not do so well, but they do take it a flip, so I probably that's probably what I'm going to do is send this piece into flip. Another swim piece. Um, same brand, the Zafool brand. Let me see about listing that one. It does seem it's reversible. It's not reversible, but there's print on either side. I've never seen that. Normally it's just, you know, the white on the inside. This feels like it's good quality. This is J. Crew. Not the most amazing brand, but you know, a good, well known brand. It is an interesting print for a work dress, though. I like it, but most people want more, you know, neutral print.
prints for wearing at work. A work skirt. They always come. This is LA Tahari. There's no size on it. So again, I am going to take this to my coworker, see if she wants it. The thing with these like I've been telling her, you know, I get all kinds of things that have no size on them and then she's, oh, if there's not something that doesn't have a size, you don't want to sell it, I will take it. So she lucks out. This is a lot size small. I think I'm going to try to see about listing that one. My listing pile is getting pretty tall. This is loft. This is a really basic piece. I don't think I'm going to list that one. I have this dress already and I wear it on my own. It is J. Crew. I have it in a size 6. Now this is a size 2. This is a nice sweater. It is dyn dynamite. It was $65 originally with the tag. Of course, this is all about the tags. I will show you what that brand tag looks like there. I absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to be looking about selling that one. Some leggings, very colorful leggings. I don't see any brand on them. It seems like there was a tag. I don't know if you can see right there. There was a tag, but somebody took it off. So I'm going to do a quick Google lens to see if anything pops up with that, but I have a feeling those are going to end up being donated. This is Express. It is an off-the-shoulder blouse. I'm going to list it, but also keep it for myself. So this is Abercrombie with the tag. Let's see, let's see. So $110 originally. What it's a dress. It's a little black dress. I am listing that one. I'm doing a really good on this box. I think this might be the best box I've ever had. There's not anything that's hugely amazing but a lot of stuff I can list. I'm actually very surprised. Not this one though. This is, I have no idea what this is. Oh, Calvin Klein. It's a very old tag. Look at it. Is that vintage? Maybe. I don't know. Put it in my research. I have a feeling I'm not going to list that but it's worth researching. Cheap trick tour. Okay, 2017. I'm going to at least look it up, see if that is worth anything. Sometimes band tour t-shirts do really well. This is a loft outlet. I was thinking about keeping this for myself, but that's pretty low cut. That's probably going to buy, sell, trade. This is Forever 21. Just a black maxi skirt. Buy, sell, trade on that one. This is Ann Taylor with the tag. It was $75 originally. Let's see about listing. Ooh, they're nice little puff sleeves. I think I'm going to list that one. A skirt. It is tool. Um, not so sure about that. I don't think it's anything that exciting, but I'm going to research it just because I don't know. I feel like I've gotten that brand in a box before. Nope, now I remember. It's not the best. That one's going to buy, sell, trade. This is Loft Skirt. Buy, sell, trade on this one, I believe. This is Hollister, a basic t shirt. Mm, buy, sell, trade. Tank top. From Japana, which is sold at TJ Maxx. This is going to buy, sell, trade. Another tank top from Old Navy. 
buy sell trade on this one. This, all right. Yep, see all those stains? So cute though. Look at those sleeves. What is this? Joseph A. Okay. Is this brand worth trying to clean that up? I might actually be able to get that out. It seems like a surface stain, but only if that brand is worth it. And that was actually the very last piece. So I thank you for again spending this time with me. I think it's really, really cool to have this like small little community to be able to discover all these different pieces together. I don't know. It's just... It's really cool to me. Um, I am now going to uh, clean all this up, vacuum, because it did get a little bit dusty in here, and I'm going to jet off to my dinner, maybe wear one of these pieces here. While I'm doing all that, maybe you can check out one of my next videos, and I will see you there.